Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? It's me, JB. I'm back at it again with another video. As you can see from this title and thumbnail today, man, I'm coming with y'all with my hat and my hoodie collection, man. I've been thinking about doing this video a lot. I was gonna do two separate videos. Actually, I was gonna do like my hoodie collection and my hat collection, but I'm just like, hey, why not just throw them into one and then just make it like a 30 minute video or whatever so you can get it all in one stop. But yeah, man, that's pretty much what we're gonna do today, man. Uh, before we get into this video, man, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. We hit 800 subs. I just want to say I appreciate y'all. 900 is on the way. Really, 1K. I want to get 1,000, and that's on the way, man. We only got 200 subs. Let's just walk this down the next couple months. I appreciate y'all, man. I was, I was saying I wanted to get 800 subs before June, and we got it, man. It's, it's May. Well, pretty much May. It's like April. What's today? April 27th, so it's pretty much May. But yeah, like I said before, man, I really appreciate y'all, man, for supporting me, man, on this YouTube journey. That's far from over. I got a lot of good stuff coming. We're working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes and I can't wait to show y'all, man, in the next couple months. But let's get straight into this video, man. All right, so first, man, we have this, this uh, Burberry, it's olive green. It's like olive green Burberry. It says Burberry London over the, um, on the sleeves. I'm really not, I'm really not a really too big on designer, like clothes for real. This is probably my only thing that I have. I bought this like a long time ago. I don't even wear it. I bought it like probably like two, three years ago in like 2020, you know what I'm saying? Pandemic money. You feel me? Uh I really didn't I really didn't wear it too much. I just wore it one time. But yeah, this Burberry hoodie, man, it's straight or whatever. I, I would not wear this again. I probably would sell it. It's pretty much brand new. You know what I'm saying? It just sits up in my closet and just collects dust. But I spent like 400 on this on this hoodie, man. This jacket, hoodie, whatever, it's like a zip up hoodie. Like 400 for this junk, bro. Waste of money. Don't buy designer, man. Don't buy designer, but yeah, this, this shit sucks. But we on to the we on to the next one. All right, so next is one of my favorite hoodie brands, you know what I'm saying? For comfort, it's essentials, fear of God, man. You can't go wrong. I got this nice little cream joint, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing on the back, but essentials is always clutch. Uh, you know, you got the essentials hit at the top, at the top of the hoodie. You feel me? But yeah, Essentials is always clutch, bro. If you want like a, a chill go-to hoodie, this is where you need to go, bro. It's so clutch, so comfy. This is where it's at. And I think uh, retail is only like 80 bucks. I think it's like 80 or 90. But I know when I bought this, uh, I bought it with like a bulk deal through like my sneaker shop. So I got them for real cheap. I got it for real cheap, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Conversation Sneakers, you feel me? For all your sneaker needs. If you need sneakers, the, the newest, the unreleased, the hype beast clothes, figures, accessories, all that, man, come shop with me, man, with my sneaker shop. Tap in with that. But yeah, I know I got a lot more than these. I'm actually wearing the pants right now that's matching with these. I should throw this on, but I really don't feel like it might get a little bit too hot. Okay, so this hoodie right here is actually one of my favorites, my recent favorites, man, my recent favorite pickups that I've got. You've seen this in my recent IG picture uh this is a mad max hours uh cropped sweatshirt hoodie you feel me um this joint says i like rockstar clothing so I, i'm i like rockstar clothes so i made rockstar clothes this joint is tough if you want to go shop with uh mad max hours i definitely recommend it high quality clothing i don't know if it was just that drop but it took like three it took like two months to get my my sweatshirt i mean it's summertime now so it's not even worth getting but if you want to buy something just to have it for like the fall or whatever you know you know what i mean that'd be cool you know what i'm saying just stock up on it all right so next this joint whoo this joint been through the ringer right here it's chrome hearts it's my first Man, it's my first ever like hype beast designer piece. You could tell this boy is warm. I took the strings out the out the hoodie. This joint is beat. Some stuff look better beat, like Chrome Hearts, man. My first trip to LA, I went and bought this hoodie. I mean, I was it's pretty basic, but it's still chrome. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong. But yeah, this is my first ever Chrome Heart piece. I got uh I got uh, like two t-shirts, and then when I went there and I got this hoodie, it's beat. I need another one because this joint is retired. This boy is tied, is wheezing. Yeah, we on to the next. All right, so this one right here. This one, shout out to my girl because I stole this from her. You know what I'm saying? She steals my clothing, so I had to take something from her. I had to. It was just only right. But yeah, this is really like a, a cactus plant flea market joint. Lucky me, I see ghosts. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know what this says. Some shit. It says some shit on the back. It's cool or whatever. I had a. I ain't take a picture in this, but I think I got a picture I'll put up on the screen of me having this joint on with a little fit or whatever. Free on the, uh, on the sleeve right here. It says free right here on the sleeve. And then the other one says kids see ghost on this one. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hold on. I got y'all. Let me see. 
It says uh, KSC Ghost right here. I don't know if you can see it. You should. All right, so this one is a thrifted piece. I got this a while ago. It's like a cool little chill piece. I don't really wear it out for real. But if I do, it's like I'm on my last last pile of like good clothes i'm not saying it's ass it was just something i had like picked up i thought i could throw it off a fit it's a little cool little piece you know what i'm saying i picked this up for like 20 bucks all right so obviously you can see like my favorite color is black so we have another black essentials we have another black essentials this joint been through a little beat or two but it's okay it's a little ashy but it's cool though gotta get another one all essentials is clutch it don't matter what color black brown gray white whatever whatever color they make you should get them back to back to back with the essentials man so we have another essentials this is actually see a tan essentials i re this is a recent pickup from pack sun drop but yeah this one actually has some on the front i don't know if it has none no it has none on the back but this is the biggest front print front print when they make you can see it says uh, essentials fear of god on the front and then of course it always has the essentials fear of god patch at the top i did get the matching set you know the pants and the hoodie i actually did pick up i picked up a matching pair for me and jazz but we just haven't worn it yet together but yeah the hoodie's definitely comfy like i said before you can't go wrong with essentials get some essentials that's your last resort you need a hoodie anything something just calm get that for sure all right so another piece another hoodie the astro world 2021 um, I was front row at Astro World, which it was crazy. It was insane. Drake pulled up all that. This one actually does have a front and back. You know what I'm saying? It looks like it got a little skull or something on the back. This one looks like like a look like a face on like LSD or something. But yeah, this little joint got the front. And then it uh it's got like a flower and it says right here it says Astro World Fest 21. Got some little puff print stars or whatever. I just noticed like that it's got like the crowd down there at the bottom. If you can see that. You can see it's got like the crowd down there. You can see that? That look kind of. I don't know. They look kind of. Let me put this down. You can see we got the flavors in there, man. You can see no black in there. Gray, green, pink, orange. I'm gonna get y'all the heaters, the bangers, the bangers first. This hat right here, this white socks hat right here. Gray broom. This is like a bandana print. I know I wore this like I wear this a lot, bro. This is like my go-to. I gotta get another like black and white hat. Probably a black and white Yankees. But black and white goes with everything, bro. I have it in probably like six, seven pictures if you've seen on my Instagram. I had to archive some of the pictures, as many pictures I had in this hat. Like, bro, if I see this hat one more time. <laughs> I know y'all, I know people was thinking that like, if I see this hat on him one more time, if he re-rocked this hat one more time, bro, is this the only hat he owned? No, it's not the only hat I own, but it just goes with everything. All right, so next, this one right here, this is the, probably the most expensive hat that I own. I paid like dang near 200 for this hat. It was by Hat Club and it has the Swarovski crystals on it. You know what I'm saying? You can see that. I don't know if it's really gonna show uh, you can see the crystals in there, but it's not really gonna show because it's like the light right here But if you in the Sun, this joint is beaming. I'm telling you this boy is dancing But he has got the got it on the sides where it says World Series and it has it on the back right here And then it says 27 time world champions is what it says right here And then of course we got all the different World Series patches the 2000 the 1999 the 1998 right here and then this was the 96 but yeah, you can see it's like trying to it's trying to it's trying to do its thing a little bit. But yeah, this this hat is hard. Gray brim, you feel me? Hat club special. A lot of people when I wear this hat, they ask me where to get it from. Definitely can't get this hat anymore unless somebody has it and they want to sell it to you. Yeah, this joint definitely tough definitely tough all right so next we have this is the off I mean this is the Migos Atlanta hat feel me with the Georgia peach on there this joint is tough and on the back it says uh do it for the culture uh green brim it's got uh, the 1995 World Series patch on there. I guess it's when they won the World Series. All right, y'all, so my camera died. I had to get a new battery. But we are on to the next hat. The last hat that I showed y'all was the Migos and Atlanta hat. I'll show you that one more time. This hat right here. You know what I'm saying? This hat right here, man. This joint. One of my favorites, too. This is an all pink and white. It was like a for a Valentine's Day type feel. It's like a Valentine's Day special with Hat Club. And it is a pink and white Yankees joint. It came with a um, like a cotton candy pin from Hat Club. And then, it, of course, it has the 1996. I think that's 1996. Yeah, 1996. Um, you know, side patch for the World Series. And then it's a pink and white MLB logo. Pink, white, and red. And then it's got a red brim. It's probably one of the most unique hats I have. I don't really wear it a lot because I don't wear a lot of pink, 
but when I do have a pink piece, I'm definitely throwing this on. It's definitely a hard, a hard, a hard hat. Well, another one of my favorites that I like to wear a lot. Well, I don't wear it a lot, but I like to wear it when I wear like green. And this one has like a hint of pink too. This one actually has a pink brim also. Well, the last one had a red one, but this one has a pink one. And it's LA hat with the heart on it. And then it has the 75th World Series uh, patch on the side. This one's tough. And then on the back, it has the green, white, and pink uh, MOB logo. This is definitely a hard one for sure with the pink brim. It's definitely tough. It goes with a lot, especially if you're wearing like, if you wanna wear like some camo or anything, you definitely throw this on. This is definitely a good one. So this one is pretty much a blank one. I got this one from Lids, or I got this one from Champs actually. It's a Subway Series. It's a Subway Series, as you can see the patch right there, the Subway Series, New York Yankee hat. I think this is when they was playing against the Mets. Yep, they was playing against the Mets. So. Yeah, it's got the Yankee at the top, you feel me? Gray brim, you feel me? And then we got the original white, black, and red, well, white, blue, and red um, MOB patch on the back. But yeah, this one's definitely smooth. This was definitely like a, more like a, not like an everyday, but like a calm type hat. If you got anything on that you want to wear, like navy or just gray, you definitely throw this one on. This is definitely a good one. We got the Phillies. This was a inaugural season edition, 2004 patch right here pretty old but yeah this one right here with the big p on the front gray brim and then it's got the white blue and red on the back this one's this one's this one's tough but i don't really wear this one i don't really wear this one this is not like one of my favorites i think i, I think this is just one that i just got and i just didn't i just haven't worn it yet but this one's smooth or whatever it's cool all right so this one this is another yankees one as you can see i really love the yankees logos it's like the toughest one, the Yankees or the LA. And then this one's for uh, the 1977 All-Star Game at Yankee Stadium. That's what it says right here on that patch, on that patch right there. But yeah, this was definitely like a Statue of Liberty color. It's got a yellow brim. This was really, really different. I haven't worn this yet in no pics, but this one is crazy. I'm saving this one for like something stupid crazy that goes with these colors, cause it's like kind of hard. But it's kind of like a, uh, like I said, it's like Statue of Liberty color. And it's got like this gold or like this yellow on the back uh, with the stitching and stuff. But yeah, this one, this is definitely tough. This is definitely one of my delicate favorites. Like something that I'm like scared to wear, but I need to put it like with the right stuff. But this one, this one's definitely hard. All right, so this one, this one, uh, this, this is like a fuck up of mine. As you can see, like it's two different type of um, brim shapes. As you can see, I fucked up. And this is like, it's shorter. It's like, it's shorter with this, but this one's got like a red brim. It's a uh, it's a Philly Philadelphia um, 76ers hat. Allen Iverson joint. That used to be my favorite player. Well, that is my favorite player next to LeBron, but LeBron's first. Mitchell and Ness joint. I got. I think I got this one from Liz. But yeah, this one's cool, whatever. But I just don't wear it because I don't like the shape. When you put it on your head, the brim looks stupid. All right. So next, I got this White Sox. I got this White Sox hat. This red White Sox hat. This one's actually. It's actually cool too. Uh, this is actually one of my other favorite logos too. So I only have two of these, I think. I think I only have two of these. So yeah, it's uh, Yankees and then the White Sox and then the LA. But yeah, the White Sox joint is tough. Like, you know what I'm saying? With the Sox, that's that's cool. But yeah, this one is the, uh, the 05 World Series joint. Feel me with the like, it's like the Mexican colors on the back. White, uh, green, and red. And this one has a green brim. This was tough too. Calm one, wear some red, you know what I'm saying? At the bottom. On your shoes, throw this at the top. You know what I'm saying? Some, some cool. Hello. Damn. Hey. Say what's up to, say what's up to YouTube. Hey YouTube. <laughs> All right. So for the next one, man, we have this LA hat. Sadly, I've never worn this. You, obviously, you can see the sticker still on there. This is a seven and seven eighths. This, I think it's like the first hat I've ever bought when I was trying to get into the hat game. And I wear a seven and five eighths. So this hat looks dumb big on me. It looks like stupid. Unless I had like some, I don't know. Unless I, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking braids right now. Unless when the day I decide to go get dreads, something like that, and I get really thick hair, twists or some shit like that, then I could probably wear this. But right now, I definitely can't wear this. This looks stupid, but this hat is so tough. It's like a cotton candy type LA hat, pink brim. And then, damn, how much did I pay for this hat? $42 from Hat Club. This has the World Series 1981 on the side, the pink and white on the back, as you can see that. But yeah, this hat is tough. 
unfortunately i cannot wear this hat man I'm gonna wrap up my collection man let me know down in the comments what was your favorite piece what was your favorite hats or let me know what you guys got in y'all's collection let me know down in the comments what other video i should do man i appreciate y'all for watching make sure you follow me on instagram at it's me jb make sure you leave a sub down you know what i'm saying down in one of these corners i think it's one of these corners man just push push the subscribe man it's free we on the road to a thousand subs like i said before at the beginning of the video we just hit 800 subs uh make sure you leave a like comment subscribe on this video i appreciate y'all for watching once again and i'll catch y'all on the next one man